Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. For those who are new to my channel, our Lord asks me to do a video each day, so I do in obedience to Him. I wait on Him. What does He want me to share in these videos for those whom He knows will be watching them? I never know from each day what I'm going to share. I just do in obedience what He reveals to me. <laughs> my trust, my dependence is upon Him. And I know He moves. He's been moving. The Spirit of the Almighty Living God has been moving through these videos. So many testimonies, healings, deliverance, lives being changed. People having heavenly experiences. Power of God coming upon people. It's just amazing what He can do. So we need to be obedient to what the Lord would, is leading and guiding us to do by His Spirit. Regardless of what anybody else might think, regardless of what someone else might say to you about it, be obedient. If you know and know the Spirit of God is leading God in you to do something, that our Lord has asked you to do something, do it in obedience. Have a heart that is willing and obedient. A lot of people are willing, yes, Lord, I'll, I'll get to it. Yes, Lord, no, obedience means obedience. His timing not ours, his way, not our way. These videos, this this channel is him. <laughs> uh, Father's ministry. It's all about him. Today's video is a deliverance video. Whilst I was sitting with our Lord, waiting upon him, that's what I do every morning. That's where I hear from him. Uh, what he wants me to share in these videos about fathers, home and park church, my own family, my own life, other people that I pray for. I just hear his heart. I wait upon him to hear his heart. And he reveals it. He rewards those who didn't seek him. And I seek him daily, throughout the day, through the night. I wake up. It's a continual communion with him through his spirit who's with every believer it's positioning yourself aligning yourself to hear from heaven so while sitting with him holy spirit started speaking now i know the voice of the lord i know when he speaks and it's holy spirit speaking and started giving me names of demons so i just started writing them down okay lord and this is what I have before me right now. I'm about to speak the name of these names. Um, and they're demons. Father knows who's going to be watching this video. He knows you. He knows if you need to be delivered of these demons. Yes, Christians can have demons. They can be hiding within, attached or following. It could be a generational curse that enabled them to come down the bloodline. It could have been a curse that's come in your lifetime. I'm going to be addressing today the curse of witchcraft and other demons that come because of it and assignments they have. If you want to be set free from demons that could be hiding with you, keep watching this video. Don't let Satan try to distract you. Turn your attention to something else. Keep watching this video because your heavenly father wants to set you free okay i'm just being obedient to him he knows what we need and when it's time these demons have got to go hallelujah and they will leave because i recognize the deliverance anointing that's here you know and this anointing is the anointing of the most high god and it destroys the yoke of the enemy if you watch this video, you're going to have demon, demons leaving you. Now, sometimes they can just lift up and leave a person. They don't even know demons have gone from them. I see that happen a lot. Sometimes they leave as a yawn, cough, burp, sigh, vomit. Suddenly your mouth just gets filled up with spit, spit it out. Tears from the eyes. 
Some even get popping in the ears. Demons are a spirit. They tend to leave as a spirit. And they can just come out as a sneeze. They'll leave. They know I walk in the authority our Lord Jesus has um, given all those who believe. They recognize it in my voice. They recognize the anointing that's on my life. You might not. You might just be seeing me here in front of you, but they do. <laughs> so, I'm going to name these demons. And I'm going to have you break any agreements that you made with them in your lifetime. I'm going to break these curses and these demons are going, going to be leaving you. So, beautiful Holy Spirit, I ask that you minister to all those who are watching this video right now who want to be set free. Who truly want to be set free. They'll lay down any unbelief that Christians can't have demons, any doubt. They'll lay down any ideas or understandings about deliverance. They just turn to the Father now and say, Yes, Father, I want to be set free. If there's anything of the realms of darkness influencing me, I don't want it. I want to be set free. And Holy Spirit, if they make that heart decision, minister to them right now, please. Prepare them. Thank you. Let your anointing come upon them right now, Holy Spirit. The anointing that destroys the yoke of the enemy. Hallelujah. Great are you, Holy Spirit. Just have your way right now where they are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And the Lord's holy angels that are with each person right now, I ask that you be on the left, right, front and back, that not be moved in the position where they're at. Bless you, holy angels. You do the will of the Father. Hearken to his word, spoken or written by the Spirit of God. Bless you, holy angels. Thank you. Before I name these demons, I take authority over every demonic spirit and power that may be with you. Now, I'm only going to address the demons with you. I'll break the curse of you if you're married, your spouse, your children, grandchildren. But it's the demons from you. I'm going to be commanding them to leave. I'll put this, this list of demons below in the description of this video. You can have a look at them. And if your spouse and children are walking with our Lord, you can command the demons to leave them too. You have authority to do so. Whether they're in front of you or not, you command them to leave. Hallelujah. If you have a look below the description of this video, I have a link to my Facebook page, Angie Morris. In there, you will find prayers, how to take authority over the realms of darkness. You can do self-deliverance. You learn to do deliverance of other people. Demons are subject to us. They must obey. Lord Jesus has given us the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means will harm us. Luke 10, 19. It's the truth. And they know who knows this truth. My husband and I have been deliverance ministers for a number of years now. We're not active in deliverance ministry as such, but still do um, deliverance ministry through the week. And every time we have home and part church. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's really we take authority and Holy Spirit pushes them up and out. It's the power of God that comes and removes those demons. They can't hide when the power of God's there. They can't hide. So I take authority of every demonic spirit and power that's with this person, whether you're within, attached or following, no matter where you're located. If you are located in a soul fragment, fragmented soul, demonic soul copy, I dislodge you. Now demons, you know what I'm talking about, even though the person may not, I dislodge you. No matter where you are lodged, I dislodge you in Jesus' name. If your name is spoken, and when they speak your name, and when I speak your name, it's a fire God upon you, demons. You'll leave in all your entirety. You will go straight to the abyss and into it if you cannot return in Jesus' name. I bind you from splitting, bind you from jumping. You will go straight to the abyss without detour on left or right. In Jesus' name. Don't manifest, demons. Just live quickly and quietly. You're just a puff of air. You're just a spirit. Leave as such in Jesus' name. 
Now, every person who's watching right now, I sever you from every ungodly soul tied to money bond ever formed of another person in your lifetime in Jesus' name. If any demons that are named today came because of an ungodly soul tied to money bond from a person, you don't have a right to stay anymore. You've got to leave. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just have your way. And minister to these people who are watching might be new to deliverance. Just give them a piece and the rest, please. You're doing it for them right now. There's probably demons leaving you right now if you're watching this video. Suddenly got an urge to cough, yawn, burp, sigh. They're leaving you. Praise God. We give him the praise. When demons leave a child of God, it's shaming the enemy. It doesn't shame us. It shames the enemy and it exalts our Lord Jesus for what he has done for us. He has given us the victory and the triumph over the enemy. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm going to name all these demons. And I'm going to have you break any agreements that you've made with them in your lifetime. Thank you, Lord. Just have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. I thank you that you'll locate these demons and push them up and out. I can't hide from you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. He's just ministering at the moment. Just have a peace and a rest. It's okay. Thank you, Lord. Any demons that are making any person feel agitated, leave them now. Do it quick in Jesus' name. Do it quick. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. If you're feeling agitation, it's not you. It's them. Thank you, Lord. All right. I'm going to name them. And you're going to break agreements with these demons. They're demons. Okay. Regret. Remorse. Disappointment. Betrayal. Offense. Rejection. Perceived rejection. That's when you think you've been rejected, but you haven't. The demon makes you think you've been rejected, but you haven't. Self-rejection. Abandonment. Orphan spirit. Recluse. Isolation. Mistrust of man. Suspicion. Paranoia. Delusion. Bewitchment. Witchcraft. Then I heard curse of witchcraft. I'll be breaking that off for you today, generational or in your lifetime. ADHD. These are the things that come because of a curse of witchcraft, which is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Asparagus. Autism. And what can come with autism? Dyslexia, language delay, it's other demons that come with it. Poverty, lack, mental illnesses, mental block, unexplained illnesses, chronic illnesses, division in the family, barrenness, miscarriage, okay, Holy Spirit has added in a one then, divorce, barrenness, miscarriage, hormone imbalance, reproductive issues. Refusing to obey those in authority, rebellion, defiance, anger, suppressed anger, rage. That could come about because of a root of bitterness as well, resentment. But all this is it comes under a curse of witchcraft. Violence, retribution, Jezebel, Leviathan, Absalom. Division in the church, arguments, misunderstandings, misunderstood, persecution, narcissism, abuse, torment. I need to say a prayer, please, for you. Just repeat it after me. Every agreement I have made in my lifetime. With the demons, Angie just spoke, 
the list that God gave her. I break those agreements. In Jesus' name, I resist them and command they leave me. In Jesus' name. Well done. Well done. Thank you, Lord. Shara kanda and yesha arashindi isha moko. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Just going to ask you to repent, renounce. Um, for those who feel they need to, I re encourage all to do this prayer. Just say this prayer now. I repent and renounce. On behalf of my parents, my ancestors, those who have parental care of me, foster parents, adoptive parents, step parents, mother and father in law, of all witchcraft involvement. In Jesus' name. Well done. Now for you. I repent and renounce from all witchcraft involvement, knowingly or unknowingly, in my lifetime. In Jesus' name. Well done. Okay. Let's start. All right, demons, you'll leave quickly and quietly. I command it in the name of Jesus. These people have all broken agreements with you. Whoever's watching this video, you demons with them, they've broken agreements with you. You have no choice but to go. They've repented and renounced of witchcraft. So you demons will be leaving. You have no choice. Don't manifest. Leave them quickly and quietly in Jesus' name. Straight to the abyss and into it. So let's start. Regret. Come out. Leave now in the name of Jesus. Regret. Demons, when I speak your name, it's the fire, fire of God all over you. And I'm talking about the holy fire of God's going to burn you, demons. And you can't hide from it. When I speak your name, that's the fire of God that's going to come upon you. Regret. Leave them now. Remorse. Leave them in Jesus' name in all your entirety. Disappointment, leave them. Come out in the name of Jesus. Betrayal. All this stops, all your assignments. Demons, all your assignments. I cancel all your works and break your assignments in Jesus' name. Offense. Oh, your time's up. Leave them now, offense. Come out of their hearts and come out of their emotions in Jesus' name. Rejection. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I break any curse of rejection from you now in Jesus' name. From your mother and your father's side, any curse of rejection that's come down to you and into your and when you're in the womb, I break that curse of rejection in Jesus' name. I break any curse of rejection that came in your lifetime in Jesus' name. All demons attached to that generational curse of rejection, leave them now and do it quick. Come out, come out, come out in Jesus' name. I break all your assignments against them. Every demon attached to that curse of rejection that came in their lifetime. And all these curses that has broken off this person. If they're married, I break it off from their spouse as well. I break it off from their children, grandchildren, their bloodline, and all future generations in Jesus' name. So, rejection. Whether you came in for an ungodly soul tied demonic bond. Whether they felt rejected and you came in. Generational curse or curse in their lifetime. You have to go in Jesus' name. Come out, rejection. Come out, you lying demon. They've been, they're chosen, wanted by the Most High God. They're not rejected. Hallelujah. Perceived rejection. Leave them now. Perceived rejection. Leave them now in Jesus' name. And self-rejection. Leave them. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in all your entirety. Abandonment. Time to go, abandonment. They've broken agreements with you. They've broken agreements of all this list. You're on that list. Leave now, abandonment. Come out, come out in all your entirety. In Jesus' name. Orphan spirit. Oh, that's going to stop your lying demon. Your lying demons. Orphan spirit, making them feel they're an orphan, even though they might even have family. 
off in spirit. Leave them now. Come out. Come out in all your entirety. Recluse. Leave them now, recluse. They're not going to be recluse anymore. They're going to have fellowship with other Christians and be around other people. Recluse, leave them now. Isolation, leave them now too. They're not going to be isolated anymore in Jesus' name. All your assignments are broken. Mistrust of man, leave them now, demon. Mistrust of man, leave them now in Jesus' name. Suspicion, come out, come out in all your entirety. Paranoia, that's not going to work anymore. Leave them now, paranoia. Leave them now, leave them now. And for all those who are watching, I encourage you to keep watching this video. I know you're going to have demons leaving you now. You watch it again, you're going to have more demons. Whatever stragglers that didn't come out the first time, they'll come out the next time. Hallelujah. Delusion. And self-delusion. Leave them now. Leave this person who's watching right now. Come out, come out, come out, demons. In all your entirety. Detach, unfollow, go to the abyss and into it. You cannot return in Jesus' name. Bewitchment. That stops too. Bewitchment. Leave them now. Come out. All the way, all the way. Come up and out, come up and out. Witchcraft. You're next. Witchcraft, you're just a snake. Take, you leave now and take all your little snakes with you. Leave nothing of yourself behind. Leave them now, witchcraft. They've repented and renounced of all witchcraft involvement. I've broken witchcraft curses from the generation and lifetime. They've repented and renounced. And broken agreements with you. So all witchcraft, leave now. Leave them now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shada Shanyandara Kunka and Danda. Every generational curse of witchcraft from the mother inside, father side, no matter how long it's been coming down the bloodline, is broken in Jesus' name. Off from you, if you married your spouse, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, your bloodline, and all future generations in Jesus' name. Any witchcraft curse that's come in your lifetime has been broken. No matter what you did, you just repent and renounce of all witchcraft involvement. I break any curse that came. In your lifetime. Off from you, your spouse, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, your bloodline, and all future generations in Jesus' name. All demons of witchcraft, if you're attached to a curse, leave them now. If you're with a curse, I command you leave them now and you'll leave their bloodline. Leave them now, including the items if you're thrown in the realm on them. I remove any items you put over them, witchcraft, and I, with the blood of Jesus, and I destroy them. Never be used again. Powers with the items that was thrown over them from witchcraft. Leave now. That's you bewitchment. Sorcery. Oh, you got caught out. Sorcery. Sorcery. Leave them now in Jesus' name. Bewitchment. Ugh, seducing demons. Leave them now. Leave them now in Jesus' name. Come out and come off and go to the abyss in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Shara kundanda jishishimakinda. Have your way, Holy Spirit. I don't do deliverance of that Holy Spirit. He's the one that gives me the names of the demons. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right. Now, demons, that, the things that they do, the curse of witchcraft. Now, all curses of witchcraft have been broken from you in Jesus' name. Every assignment of a witchcraft demon, broken in Jesus' name. Cancel your works. Cancel your programming in Jesus' name. From this person, if they're married, their spouse, their children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, the bloodline, in Jesus' name. You demons have got to go. All witchcraft, you'll leave them. I command it in the name of Jesus. I've broken your assignments. You'll leave in Jesus' name. That means all poverty, all lack, division in the family. Mental disturbances, illnesses, mystery illnesses, sicknesses. Broken in Jesus' name. All right, let's keep it, let's keep going. ADHD. That's a demon. That's a few demons that work with it. Leave. 
Leave them now, ADHD. Leave them now. Leave them now in Jesus' name. Leave them in all your entirety and take the demons that work with you, with you. Leave nothing of yourself behind in Jesus' name. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Push them up and out. And that's the fire of God on you, demons. All right. Spurgis, time to go. You're a demon. Asparagus, leave them now. Come out of their minds. Come out of their minds. Come out of their, their emotions. Come out and command it in the name of Jesus. All spiritual demons, leave in all your entirety. Autism, get out of their minds. That's the power of God on every person right now who's watching this video. Power of God on every demon now of, of autism. Autism, you felt that. That's the power of God came upon you, autism. Leave them now. Do it quick. Come out, come out, come out, come out in all your entirety. Get off their minds. Get out, get out, out of their communications. Get out of their emotions. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, thank you. And Holy Spirit, when those demons leave, I ask that you bring healing and restore their minds. Thank you. Uh, including language delay, dyslexia, any other demons that came with autism, leave them now in Jesus' name. Poverty, leave. I've broken your assignments. All demons of poverty, all demons of lack, leave them now. Come out, come out, come out in Jesus' name. Any curses of poverty on this person who's watching right now, I break those curses. Whether they be generational from your mum and dad, I break those curses off from you. Your spouse, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, your bloodline, all future generations in Jesus' name. Any curses of poverty that's come in your lifetime, I break it from you now in Jesus' name. All demons attached to any curse of poverty, leave them. Leave them. I deactivate you. Uh, any demons that cause lack, broken are your assignments. Leave them now, lack, in Jesus' name. Couldn't you set back? Set back. Leave them in Jesus' sabotage. Leave them now. Hindrance. Leave them. Leave them. When I say your names, demons, leave them and come out and all your entirety in Jesus' name. Uh, mental illnesses. All mental illnesses. I'm not going to name them all, including dids. Leave them. Leave them now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Every demon of mental illness. I'm not going to name you all. You know who I'm talking about. Including you, schizophrenia. Double-mindedness. Come out. Loose them now, I commend. I cut off your tentacles and break off your tooth from their minds. Leave them now in the name of Jesus. Or schizophrenia demons, leave them now. You'll go straight to the abyss and into it. You cannot return in Jesus' name. Double-mindedness. You loose these, this person right now. Is watching this video loose them now i command it go to the abyss in jesus name all double-mindedness leave them now in jesus name thank you for that holy spirit <laughs> dids i heard you again disassociative identity disorder leave them now that means someone, one of you could be living with that, one of those demons. It makes you feel like you're another person. Suddenly you disassociate. disassociate. Um, if you've got a clinical, if someone's been given a diagnosis of a mental illness, I bring that diagnosis under the blood of Jesus and cancel it. All the demonic in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus has taken every sickness, mental, physical, emotional, psychological. He's taken it all. We are healed by the stripes he bore upon his body for us. He bore sicknesses. He took it all for us. Infirmities of all kind. You don't have to have it anymore. Or depression. Or mental illnesses. No matter their names. Must leave you. And I command they leave you. In Jesus name. Come off their minds. Come out. Come out of their hearts. In Jesus name. Thank you Holy Spirit again. Mental block. Leave them now. All blocking demons, but in particular mental block. 
blocking demons come out come out come out and mental block demons leave them in jesus name demons that block dreams and visions blocks them from hearing from god blocks them from receiving the word of god leave them now and do it quick in jesus name blocks them from hearing the spirit of god leave them now in jesus name you're blocking demons that's the fire god and you demons in jesus name unexplained illnesses mystery illnesses that's what a witchcraft curse does leave them now if you have any illness in your body and you can't explain it doctors don't understand it that's a witchcraft curse and it's been broken off from you that whatever that symptom is whatever the unexplained thing is that's happening to you leave it must leave your body now i command it in the name of jesus it must leave you now i command it in the name of jesus that's the power of god on you the top of your head Ooh, through your body every unexplained illness every illness every sickness every infirmity infliction i command you leave this person now diabetes you leave 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 that was a word of knowledge from holy spirit leave in jesus name i don't need to name you illnesses i don't need to name you demons leave them i command it the name of jesus and holy spirit when the demons leave i ask you to release healing from the top of this person's head all the way down their body to wherever it's needed thank you any deformity of the body be corrected now in the name of Jesus. Down the spine, be corrected now. And your spine come in alignment now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that too. Chronic illnesses. This is when I've gone through all this. <laughs> You're looking at someone who's gone through it all and been delivered and set free and healed. Chronic illnesses. Chronic fatigue allergies autoimmune diseases fibromyalgia lupus whatever it is it doesn't have to you don't have to live with it anymore i command every demon that's caused a chronic illness in this person who's watching this video right now leave them i command it in the name of jesus come out come out all the way come up and out leaving all your entirety leave nothing of yourself behind you're bound from splitting leaving all your entirety and go straight to the abyss and into it you cannot return in jesus name Oh, demons, you are so subject to that person. They're going to keep you going. They're going to keep commanding you to leave now they know the truth. Hallelujah. All right, division in the family. You demons that cause division in the family, divorce, leave. If there's a curse of, of um, divorce, I break that curse of you now. From your mother and father's side, I break it off from you. Your spouse, if you're married, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, your bloodline, all future generations, in Jesus' name. If you got divorced in your lifetime, I break the curse of divorce that's come in your lifetime, in Jesus' name. Off from you, if you're married again, your spouse now, um, your children, your bloodline, all future generations, in Jesus' name. Every demon attached to a curse of divorce, leave them now. Leave them now. Leave them now, in Jesus' name. All demons of divorce. I break your assignments and command you leave this person now in Jesus' name. And leave, yes, and leave in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, barrenness. You demon that stops them from having a baby, getting pregnant. Barrenness, leave now. Loose yourself from the womb. And if you're with the man, loose yourself from him as well. Oh. Yeah, if it's a sister or brother that's watching right now, if it's a, a sister in Christ, come out of the womb. And if it's a man, come out of them, out of the reproductive. Come out. All demons of barrenness, leave them now in Jesus' name. Miscarriage. If you're a sister in Christ and you've had a miscarriage, I'm going to break that curse of miscarriage that might have come down from your mother and father. The bloodline, doesn't matter how far back it went, I break the curse of miscarriage off from you. If you married your spouse, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, your bloodline or future generations, in Jesus' name. If you have had a miscarriage in your lifetime, I break that curse of miscarriage off from you that's come in your lifetime. 
or from you if your husband your um your spouse wife children grandchildren great grandchildren your bloodline or future generations in jesus name that is done understand i'm speaking by authority i know it's done it's finished it's an active to inact inactive now can't operate anymore in jesus name but you demons attached to those curses of miscarriage whether you're generational or come in their lifetime leave them now in jesus name leave them now come out and all you and come out of the belly come out come out wherever you're lodged come up come up all the way leave them now in jesus name in all your entirety in jesus name thank you lord do you know every time i say in jesus name you demons that's a fire god on you leave in all your entirety hormone imbalance you demon that causes a hormone imbalance and fluctuation of emotions leave in jesus name come out of their hormones come out of their hormones come out of their emotions irritability unstable in the their thinking and their emotions and it's that time of the month leave them now i command it anger frustration whatever other demons are working with you leave them now i command it in the name of jesus they just know the truth now it's not normal to have a big it's normal to have menstrual flow and maybe feel a little bit not normal during that time maybe a little bit just a bit of disturbance as your hormones are changing but if it's a big change a lot of emotion a lot going on at that time it's not, can be a demon causing a hormone imbalance and other demons that work with it irritability frustration anger you're teary crying it's not nice so you demons will leave them i command it in the name of jesus thank you lord reproductive issues man or woman leave their reproductive organs right now i command you demons whatever's causing any reproductive issues whoever's watching this video right now you demons leave them now that's a fire 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 got all over you demons when i speak your name or your function the fire god comes upon you the only way you can escape it is to leave this person in all your entirety in jesus name thank you lord holy spirit i ask that you bring a, a balance into the hormones please healing into the reproductive thank you holy spirit uh yes healing for, for the insulin please um Sugar diabetes, I ask for a balance in that now, Lord. These are the words of knowledge. Thank you, Lord. Hypoglycemia. Yeah, a balance in the sugar levels and the blood, please. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, you just did that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless you for the healing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Refusing to obey those in authority. You demons that have them not want to obey authority, whether it be governmental authority, spiritual, those who have been put spiritual authority over them, leave. Leave. Leave them now. Leave them now. Leave them now. In the name of Jesus, that includes you demon of rebellion. You rebel. You just don't want to obey authority. Rebellion. Leave them now. If there was rejection with you, rebellion is most likely there too. Rebellion, leave them. I command it. Come out, come out. Get out of their emotions and get out of their minds. Leave them in Jesus' name. Defiance. Come out, defiance. In Jesus' name, in all your entirety. Leave them, defiance. They now know these are demon names. Anger. Time to go, anger. Do it quickly and quietly and leave in all your entirety. Don't split. Come out, anger, in the name of Jesus. Suppressed anger. Rage. If you came about because of a root of bitterness, I command that root of bitterness to leave this person's heart right now in Jesus' name. Any root of bitterness, resentment, offense, go from this person now in the name of Jesus. 
And I ask, Lord Jesus, that you bring healing into their heart. And unforgiveness as well. You demon of unforgiveness, leave them now in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out. Leave them in all entirety. And I ask the one who's watching this right now, if you need to forgive somebody, do so. And if you have forgiven them, but you just feel like you haven't yet, there could be a demon of unforgiveness there, and it's got to go from you. So any demons of unforgiveness, leave them now. Resentment, offense, riddle bitterness. You demons that causes the heart to harden, you leave them like a man in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Any wars you have erected because of these things to defend and protect yourself, I ask Holy Spirit that you minister to their hearts and those walls come down. That they'll trust in our Lord Jesus to defend them and protect them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rage. Rage. Leave them now. Leave them now. In the name of Jesus, rage. Come out. Don't you manifest. You're just a demon. Do it quick. Come out. You're just a spirit as well. Do it quickly and quietly and do it in all your entirety in Jesus' name. I encourage you again, those who are watching this video, replay the video. They will leave. They'll keep leaving you. Violence. you got to go, violence. Leave them now. Leave them now in the name of Jesus. I want to explain something to you so the Spirit's bringing it to me. You yourself might never be violent towards somebody else. It's just not in your nature to do so. But that demon of violence in you may cause other people to be violent towards you. So you don't want any demons with you. You could have these different demons that will cause other people to treat you that way. I'm about to name a demon called um, persecution. It will have people persecute you. You might not persecute other people, but it will have other people persecute you. So you want these demons gone. Violence, leave them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Retribution. Leave them retribution. And you also work with revenge. The revenge you leave as well in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out in all your entirety. Jezebel. Oh, Jezebel. You just got caught out. Jezebel, you're going to leave. And you're going to leave with all those demons who have ever taken a command by you, Jezebel. Seduction is going to go with you, Jezebel. Any vanity that's with you, Jezebel, that's going with you too. Murder, lust, incest, molestation, rape. Leave. These are demon names, and Holy Spirit just gave them to me. And normally when those things happen, Jezebel's there. Jezebel instigates it. Jezebel, you do a whole lot more than what people realize. But we give you no power. You're just a demon, a defeated one. Leave. Take the names of the demons. Take the demons with you that I just named. Come out in all your entirety. Fire, fire, fire God all over you, Jezebel. In all your kingdom, whatever demons that are working with you, rape, molestation, incest, leave them now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you had done, whatever you had been active in, I break it in Jesus' name. All your assignments and cancel your works. I command you leave them in all your entirety. And I'm talking about every demon of Jezebel. There can be more than one. Every demon of Jezebel and whatever demons are working with you. Leave this person. I command it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Leviathan. Leviathan, I knock off your crown. You're not a king to us. Leviathan, pride. And Leviathan, all your fish. Leviathan comes from the marine kingdom. Leviathan, and all your fish. Whatever fish are with you, when you leave, I command you take them with you. So leave now, Leviathan, and do it quick. Come out and all, I put the fire of God all over you, Leviathan, and burn up all your waters. I've knocked off your crown. You're just a defeated demon to us. 
leave now and come out and all your entirety to the fire and take all your fish with you. That's the fire, fire, fire got all over you. Loose from their necks, loose off their shoulders, get off their heads, leave them now in the name of Jesus. Get off their neck, get off, get off, get off. Loose from them in Jesus' name. Take your pride with you. In Jesus' name. Watch the video again. Make sure they keep going and leaving you. Absalom, your turn. Absalom and all the demons that work with you, leave this person right now. It's finished. Absalom and Lephiophan are the two main demons that causes division in a church. And in a family. Absalom, leave. And take all the demons that have been working with you. As the fire got upon you and all your kingdom, leave now and all your tidy in Jesus' name. And all of every demonic spirit and power that's leaving this person right now, you'll go straight to the abyss and into it. You cannot return. You're not free to roam to somebody else. In Jesus' name. Division in the church. Well, that's you, Absalom, and Leviathan. But if there's any other demons that's been causing division in a church, you've been operating in this person to cause division, or someone's been operating against them to cause division, leave and leave in all your entirety in Jesus' name. I break your assignments and cancel your works in Jesus' name. Arguments, demon of arguments, to cause them to, cause them to feel argumentative. <laughs> oh, demon of quarrelsome, you're probably there too. Arguments and quarrelsome, leave them now in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out in all your entirety in Jesus' name. Come out, keep coming up and out. Whatever demons in the belly, whatever's in the belly, come out. Come all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Come out, you're a snake. Come out, come out of the belly. Come out of the belly, all the way up, and come out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Get them, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Misunderstandings. Misunderstandings causes miscommunication. You might hear someone say something, but they've actually said something else misunderstandings leave them now and you're like you're for sure they said something to you and they're like no i said this that's misunderstandings it works with the demon also called miscommunication so misunderstandings and miscommunication leave them now leave them now in all your entirety and you work with leviathan so leave in jesus name leviathan can distort what you've heard and what you might have read it distorts it in Jesus' name. And you're demon of misunderstood. You constantly get misunderstood. People take you wrong. Misunderstood. Leave them now. Come out, come out, come out. Detach, unfollow, go to the abyss and into it in Jesus' name. Persecution. I break your assignments and cancel your works in Jesus' name. Against this person being persecuted. Or they possibly persecuting someone else, but you causing them to be persecuted, it's broken in Jesus' name. All demons of persecution, leave them now in Jesus' name. Narcissism. Narcissism. And all the demons that works with you, pride, arrogance, persuasion, bewitchment, witchcraft, Jezebel. Narcissism, I command you in the name of Jesus and all the demons that are working with you, you will leave this person and retribution, revenge. You turn things back on other people. You twist things around. You're not very nice, demon. None of you demons are nice. But narcissism, leave. Leave them now. No more will someone be narcissistic towards them and they will not be narcissistic back towards someone else. And that normally happens without that person even realizing they turn things back on someone else, what they're actually doing to them. Narcissism demons, leave. And that means you too, Leviathan, Jezebel. Leave them in the name of Jesus in all your entirety. It's the fire, fire, fire of God all over you. Come out, narcissism. Come out, pride, arrogance, bewitchment, sorcery, persuasion. Come out in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. And I detach off them right now. Remove of them 
any items you're thrown on them. Narcissism with the blood of Jesus. Now destroy those items. Or, or powers with the items that's been thrown on them. Bewitchment, sorcery, persuasion from narcissism. Leave them now in Jesus' name. Break your assignments in Jesus' name. Powers go from them. In Jesus' name. The name above all names. Abuse. Abuse. Every kind of abuse. Physical abuse, emotional abuse, emo mental abuse, sexual abuse. All kinds of abuse. I command you leave them right now. Leave them right now. Come out, abuse, in all your entirety. In Jesus' name, all demons of abuse, leave them now. I break your assignments and cancel your works. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, will you just give me a name or something? Thank you, Lord. Torment. Whatever demons are working with abuse, I command you leave right now. Memory recall, pain, mm, grief, sorrow. Leave them now. Leave them now. Leave them now in Jesus' name. PTSD. Leave them now, PTSD. Leave them now, PTSD. Leave them in all your entirety. Come up and out. You've been caught out. Leave them now. Trauma. Leave them now. Leave them now. Fire. Fire got all over you, demons. Get out of their emotions. Get out of their minds. Get out of their memories. And leave them now in Jesus' name. No more. No more trauma, no more grief, no more sorrow, no more pain. In Jesus' name. No more memory called demon. You bring up the memories and make them feel all the emotions they felt. Fear, phobia, terror. Leave them a command in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Leave them in all your entirety. In Jesus' name. Every demon. Complex PTSD. Demons, leave them. Whatever diagnosis they've had of PTSD or complex PTSD. PTSD, I bring under the precious blood of Jesus and I cancel it in Jesus' name. Any agreements they made of you, they break those agreements right now in their hearts. They know now it's demons and they're resisting you. And you demons must leave in Jesus' name. They're going to play this video again and make you demons go in all your entirety in Jesus' name. And all demons are torment, leave them now. However way you're tormenting them. Thoughts, intrusive thoughts, nightmares, leave them now. Intrusive thoughts, caught out, come out. You're just a, you're an octopus. So I cut your tentacles off and take your tooth out of their minds. Intrusive thoughts, leave, get out of their emotions and get out of their minds now in the name of Jesus. I break all your assignments against them and cancel your works. In Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit and power I have mentioned. That's the fire God on you all. You can't escape it. You go to hide behind another another demon, they'll catch fire as well. And it'll consume you all in Jesus' name. The only way you can escape now the fire of God is to leave this child of God who's in front of me right now. Leave this person in all your entirety and go to the abyss and into it. You cannot return in Jesus' name. I dismantle your works. Counsel your works. I All strongholds. From all the demons that I've just mentioned. Holy Spirit, bring the truth. All strongholds be dismantled. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's the power of God on you. He's watching this right now. The top of your head there. Ooh, there we go. Hey, demons, you felt that. Leave them now. Come out, come out. Come out as you yawn, sigh, burp, cough. Come out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, come out, come out, come out. That's the power of God on you. And those demons can feel it. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I ask that you locate all these demons, please, and push them up and out. Demons, I know if you watch this video, demons have left you. I encourage you to watch it again. And I know they're going to keep leaving you. You can be walking down the street and suddenly you're burping, coughing, sighing. 
demons are going to keep leaving you now. Hallelujah. Those curses have been broken off from you. Hallelujah. This is wonderful. Isn't Holy Spirit the best? He knows what you need. He brings things. I just speak them in obedience as he speaks them. Curses get broken. Demons leave. Holy Spirit ministry. Can't do deliverance without him. <laughs> so Holy Spirit, for all those who are watching right now, please, I ask that you fill them fresh to overflow. And when demons leave them, fill them fresh again, please, Holy Spirit. The top of their heads, down to the soles of their feet. Fill them, please. Every space from demons leaving, curses being broken, no matter where those demons were, lodged, have been dislodged, have been removed. Fill them fresh, please, Holy Spirit. Every room, every compartment, overflow. Overflow. Let joy come. Let peace come. Rest come. And I thank you for healing, for whatever those demons were doing. Healing to come in their minds, in their emotions, in their memories, in their bodies. Healing to come. Restore them, please. Restore them. Bring a balance. Balance, please, in the brain waves. Balance in the hormones. Balance in the sugar levels. Balance, please. Thank you. Insulin balance. Thank you. Alignment in the spine. Oh, there we go. Someone's getting a... Oh, okay. Someone has had a demon leaf on your spine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, there's alignment coming down your spine, into your hips, into your legs. Thank you, Lord. Ankles be corrected now in Jesus' name. Excess fluid go from your body in Jesus' name. Reflux, indigestion, leave your body, leave your, leave you, whoever's watching this right now, any reflux, indigestion, leave them now in Jesus' name. They're not receiving any line symptoms of sickness of any kind in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I thank you for healing. I thank you, please, for healing of their memories, their mind, their soul. Thank you. I thank you for healing of the heart or heart wounds. Or rejection, perceived rejection. All that they're being through. You know what they're being through. Holy Spirit, can you please disciple them in the truth of the gospel, of the truth of the word of God, the letters. Please disciple them, Holy Spirit. Teach them the truth. Teach them to what it means to be a child of God, their identity in our Lord Jesus, their identity in him, who they are in him. To know the love of the Father and how much he, they are loved. To know their position in the Lord, the authority they have in him. To rise up as a child of God, of the living almighty God, Holy Spirit. Keep pointing them to Jesus. Turn their minds, their hearts, their affections, their eyes upon Jesus. The orphan, the finish of their faith. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're the helper and you're with them. Holy Spirit, if they have not had a baptism of the Spirit, if they have not had a baptism from you, I ask that you touch all right now, top of their heads, all the way down. Baptism, Holy Spirit, overflow. And give them utterance, Holy Spirit, if they haven't got the prayer language yet. Give them utterance, Holy Spirit. Ooh, oh, oh, I felt that. That's the power of God. Oh, okay. Now, if you're watching this, if you haven't had baptism of the Holy Spirit, you just received it. Just receive it by faith right now. Oh, that's strong. Okay, you could suddenly speak in tongues. Some not all suddenly speak in tongues, given the prayer language straight away. Sometimes it can come a week later, or you can be in the shower and suddenly you start, and come forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for doing that. He's so beautiful. Some of you might even be drunk in the spirit right now. It's an overflow of the spirit. Hallelujah. Some of you can be feeling the glory of God right now. But by faith, just receive these, what he says done for you. You've had deliverance. He's filled you. He's baptized you in him. Give our Lord Jesus the praise. Give him the praise. If you've had a healing, I'd like to hear about it. Deliverance, let me know. But I want you to give Jesus the praise, please. Give him the praise. He loves you so much. It's because of him we can have deliverance. It's because of him we can have healing. Because of Father who sent his son. 
Hallelujah. And their spirit is with you, Holy Spirit. They always lead you and guide you in truth and in righteousness. Oh my goodness, that's the power of God. I can feel it on me and that's me. It'll be on you as well. <laughs> More Holy Spirit for all who are watching, please. And your joy, your life, your peace, your rest. In Jesus' name. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you all. Love you. Bye-bye.